yo welcome back to my channel be for real i am brit so first things first of course subscribe turn your notifications on so you do not miss any of my uploads but first things first i am coming to a kitchen near you i am coming to atlanta if you live in the atlanta area or if you're willing to drive down or up or you're willing to fly out i am coming to atlanta to cook just for you over valentine's day weekend me and that chocolate vegan or team me up to give you guys an elevated vegan dining experience so be sure to grab your tickets tickets are selling extremely fast we don't want you guys to miss out so if you would like all of the information be sure to click the link in the description box below so that way you can join us you can meet us face to face we are going to be following all covid precautions but yes i cannot wait to cook for you guys in person so be sure to grab your tickets link in the description box below so today we are getting into some easy vegan meal prep ideas okay we're giving three ideas today so I'm going to be doing a stuffed peppers with spinach I'm also going to be doing a fat burning cabbage soup and I'm going to be doing a chickpea curry with some cauliflower rice these options are very simple you can interchange them the way you would like okay it is the new year so we are all working on being a healthier version of ourselves if you would like to see my weight loss journey or follow me along on my journey let me know in the comments um, because I am on a journey to lose X amount of weight I'll save that for any future weight loss videos so if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing just let me know but you guys know I do not like to ramble we are gonna go ahead and hop right into the video all right so we are going to start off getting our fat burning soup popping so get you a non-stick dutch oven or stock pot whatever you want to call it so we have one onion in here a nice little pro tip is if you do not want to chop your onions or you don't want to google 18 ways to not cry while chopping onions just go in your freezer section at your local grocery store and get you a bag of frozen chopped onions okay toss it in there and how would they know how would they know so we're just going to let that cook down for about a minute or two. I did throw in some garlic as well as some scallions. Now, my cabbage soup is going to be a little unconventional because I literally threw in whatever I had in my refrigerator that I felt like was about to go big. So here I'm just also throwing in some carrots. Now, there'll be a full list of the ingredients in the description box below, so don't fret, okay? We also have some frozen pepper strips. Just another pro tip, like... What I'm trying to say is, if you do not like chopping up vegetables because you just feel like it's time consuming and tedious, child, go to your freezer section. Get some frozen bags of veggies and just, you know, thank yourself. Say thank you. Okay? So, I am throwing in some oyster mushrooms as well because they were about to go big. So, it's just going to be a lot of stuff in this cabbage soup. But it's going to be cabbage soup nonetheless. And it's going to bang nonetheless next order of business we're just going to add in a can of diced tomato with all of its juices just to bring everything full circle so now we are at my favorite part seasonings okay so i was at a pop-up shop and i seen this company called rhythm and heat so we are going to be using their seasonings today this video is not sponsored by them i just want to note that i love everything about their company i'm not even gonna lie like just to put it out there so make sure y'all go check them out and follow them on social media it's super dope company um but we are going to be using their super base seasoning in our soup today being as though it's a vegan bouillon seasoning is what i was told so we're going to be using that and we're also going to be using their bounce seasoning which is the cajun seasoning so it's about to be lit i did go ahead and bring the mixture up to a boil we're going to add in our veggie broth so I'm going to be adding in two cartons of this right to our mixture. And I know what y'all thinking. All this soup making going on. Where the cabbage at? So we are going to go ahead and add one head of cabbage into our soup. I did go ahead and chop this down into shreds. Well, I like to cut my cabbage lengthwise. It really does not matter how you cut your cabbage as long as it's in bite-sized pieces. So we got one head in here. We're going to go ahead and... Adding some spinach. I ain't going to lie, y'all. My spinach was about to go bad, so I added that in there, too. You do not have to do this, okay? But it's your world, and if you choose to, don't let nobody judge you, 
okay so anytime i make cabbage in general i always like to add a little bit of a sweetener just to cut the bitterness of the cabbage you can or cannot do this it's up to you if you watch my lasagna video then you know that i was gifted this vegan honey so i'm not necessarily sure where you can purchase it from but you can always use agave or maple syrup so i'm just going to add in about two tablespoons of that i'm also going to be throwing in some liquid smoke just a couple drops this is very strong you don't want to do too much low bloop bloop that's enough so we are going to ancestor shimmy and some more seasonings here because i only bought the sample sizes from rhythm and heat but i love them so we are going to go back and buy the full sizes so we got some creole seasoning smoked paprika garlic powder onion powder i'm just going to toss that in once this comes to a boil i'm going to let this cook down low for about a half an hour so it can get its life together let the flavors marry together you know and look at that y'all so at this point, you do want to taste it, adjust seasonings if need be. Once it cools down, you can ladle it up into your meal prep bowls, and boom, you're pretty much done. That is it. Okay, we're going to move right along. So next order of our business is our chickpea curry. This is actually my personal favorite. I really, really love this dish. It's so easy and flavorful. Like, ugh. Okay, so we have two tablespoons of some olive oil here. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but I promise you it's just two tablespoons. And y'all, I used a small pan because I don't know. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, it's, it's not as much oil as you think it is. So we also are putting in two tablespoons. And even if it was, child, it's my curry. But, <laughs> but we are going to also toss in two tablespoons of some curry powder. So I'm just going to whisk that up. I was cringing whisking this up in this pot because I told you I got new pots and we are not scraping up our pots all 2022. So I couldn't find my non-metal whisk so I had to use my metal one and I was just cringing hoping that I did not scrape this pot up. So y'all, if y'all have one that isn't metal, I suggest using that to prevent scraping up your pots, okay? Because we're not doing that no more. All right, so we have our pan on medium high heat. I'm just adding in some scallions just the white part or green onion just the white part of the green onion and i'm also adding in some cilantro so with the cilantro i just took the stems of the cilantro chopped up the stems and i only added the stems to this mixture so far so we have the green onion we have the scallions and we also have some mix some minced garlic now keep in mind the full ingredient list will be in the description box below so don't worry i'll have the measurements as well as the exact ingredients okay i got y'all and i know what y'all thinking the stems yes y'all we're using every part of this herb what you thought so we are just going to mix this up let everything get nice and coated with the curry we're going to let this cook down for about 30 seconds not too long and then we are going to go ahead and toss in half of a red bell pepper i did go ahead and chop this up throw this right in here we're also adding in some frozen carrot. I'm adding in a can of rinsed chickpeas. You can use whatever protein substitute you would like. You can use sweet potato if you would like, okay? So I'm adding in a can of coconut milk. I'm going to let this cook down for 10 minutes or until our veggies are tender. So we are going to go ahead and add in some allspice. So I'm going to season this up. We have whole allspice. I ran out of the ground, so we got five allspice here. So I'm also going to add in salt, pepper, cayenne, ginger. Um, all of that will be in the description box below. Okay. So if you cook spinach, you already know this is 80 bags of spinach right here. Okay. When spinach gets overworked, it likes to disappear. So we are going to be nice and gentle with our spinach. I'm also going to take half of a lime and squeeze that right in here. Just like that. Yep. Give that a nice mix. Child, your curry is done. You see how thick and depth for you? looking good so we are going to use cauliflower rice today so my whole goal is to not do keto but have more of like a low carb type situation so i'm just going to cook down some cauliflower rice that i got from trader joe's the package doesn't have any directions you literally just cook it down it'll start to brown okay yep just like that so our other half of our line we're going to go ahead and squeeze that in here you know just for another little zing so I'm going to let that cook up. It probably took about three or five minutes for it to cook down. I just constantly stirred it on medium high heat. And then remember them cilantro stems that we used earlier, y'all? Well, it's time for the leaves. So I went ahead and put the leaves in there and mixed it up. And now you have chickpea curry with cilantro lime cauliflower rice. Boom. So moving right along to our stuffed peppers. I have an onion here that I chopped up, put in our pan. I cooked it down for a little too long, but don't worry about that, okay? So we are going to be using this package of this spicy 
cauliflower mix that I got from Trader Joe's. You can use whatever grain you would like. You can use quinoa. You can use brown rice. But I'm going to use the cauliflower rice today to keep it low carb. So I am going to be adding these Boca crumbles. Now I am going to link above a recipe to my walnut taco meat if you would like to make that instead and keep this completely plant-based and soy free now i was just getting rid of things that was in my freezer for a while so we're just going to use the boca crumbles today i am going to add in some frozen corn as well i'm going to let this cook down so it browns a little bit and then we're going to season this up so i'm just ancestor shimmying on some seasonings here i have some cumin is it cumin or cumin that we're going to add some chili powder, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. You all right now, uh, but I'll have it listed in the description box as well. So I'm just going to mix this up. I am going to add in some fire roasted tomatoes. I added in like a fourth of a can just because the tomatoes that was in the package, the cauliflower package, it just wasn't given like it was supposed to give. So I added in some fire roasted tomatoes. But once your crumble cooks down, it should look like this. So we have, have our peppers here. Now the peppers I sliced, I like butterflied them, okay? I didn't cut the tops off just because I wanted them to fit into the meal prep containers. So I butterflied them, took the seeds out. We're going to spray them with some pan spray just to help them cook down. We're going to put our mixture in here. I have our oven at 400 degrees. We're going to let these cook for about 35 minutes. And boom, look at that. Even got a little crisp on top. So I did saute up some spinach with some minced garlic. We have it right in our meal prep containers looking perfect for the week. I do like to eat this with some vegan sour cream and some salsa. So boom. Okay, we are done. Don't say I ain't never give y'all no recipes to keep y'all on track. I don't want to hear that. Okay, you got three. Let's get to it. So what y'all thinking? Easy, right? We all gonna be snatched and in our best shape by the summer. I feel like we are. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to buy your Atlanta dinner party tickets so me and that chocolate vegan can cook just for you. And if you are not in Atlanta or you're unable to make the event, leave your city and state in the comments below. You just never know what can happen in the future, I'm just saying. But as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.